Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare2 over here bringing you another Minecraft World War II tutorial. In this tutorial we will be going ahead and building the Toad version of the Flak 36-37. I just posted a tutorial on the deployed version as you guys can see right over here to the side. And if you guys want to have the same Toad and in of course uh, some kind of convoys or something of that sort, you can easily go ahead and uh, you know put it on this uh, trailer thing and it looks absolutely awesome. Um, so basically this uh, trailer was designed it could separate it into two pieces the two different axles basically the wheels and it would basically just connect up to the outriggers for the uh, flat gun and basically be able to tow it around. Uh, this gun is very heavy so to make it realistic you would probably want a half track to be towing this or something that has a bit more horsepower. I do believe that standard Opal Blitz would not be able to, to uh, tow this gun just because its weight was just absolutely insane. Um, so, uh, if you do want to go realistic and this is just going out there, uh, then attach this to a half track for sure. Anyways, uh, going ahead and, uh, covering it. I really talked about the flak more in, uh, you know, this video and everything like that. Basically the flak 36 last 37 are both very similar to each other. Only differences really are just a few little instruments and, uh, some inside kind of pieces and stuff like that to make the gun easier to maintain and, uh, all that fun stuff, which I can't really show in Minecraft. So, uh, basically, I just combined the two into pretty much one, the Flak 36 and Flak 37. The Flak 36 is more commonly known for being the anti-tank one, while the Flak 37 could um, support both roles um, more. But, uh, yeah, then the Flak 36, of course, is also more iconic in the sense that it, had, it was uh, seen pretty much all of them with the uh, armor uh, paneling in front. But the Flak 37, of course, again, could be equipped with it as well. Um, so, uh, going ahead and taking a look at it, lots of detail on this, guys, lots of crazy stuff. If you guys watch the, um, the tutorial for this flat gun, you guys will definitely know that there's a good amount of detail just in the gun itself, but to have the trailer too, it's absolutely insane. So, uh, lots of detail, um, you have these coils here for probably maybe some kind of communication wire or some of, something of that sort. I talked to some of my guys in my Discord about it, and we came to the conclusion that was probably some kind of radio uh, or communication wire or something like that that you see the troops carry on their back or something to drown out uh, radio lines or something of like that sort. A lot of detail again as I mentioned you get some uh, lights up here uh, uh, basically brake lights really um, you know you can see it connected up to the uh, actual trailer itself all this stuff uh, lots of good detail all the way around. A fun fact about this is that it could be fired from the tr from uh, the towed version except it had a very limited elevation and traverse so uh, just a fun little fact for you guys there. Uh, you guys could have this thing um, set up and firing from uh, the trailer, which is pretty interesting. Um, on the back here, was really interesting. For some reason, they had a random chair uh, on the back, which I honestly have no clue why it's there. Uh, but it was, so it's included. Um, I imagine it's probably maybe for a uh, gun commander or something loader maybe. I really have no idea, but... There is a chair there, so that's kind of interesting in that sense. Again, more coils in the back here and very similar design as we have up in the front there. Nothing too uh, different or anything too crazy. Anyways, that's pretty much the design for it. Um, it came out really good. I love it. Um, definitely an improved uh, design over my old one. And, of course, it's going to look absolutely great in convoys and everything like that. Anyways, guys, uh, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer, Layer 1. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to our first layer, we have layer 1. Now for layer 1, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by getting our wheels set up. So we're going to place down a uh, two narrow brick stairs, basically uh, back to back, just like this upside down. And this right here is going to represent the right front tire. Once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and take a stone row stone brick. We're going to place down 1, 2, and 3. Stone brick top stabs across like that. Fall by another brick upside down stair and then one coming off the back of the stair. So you get something like that. You have an axle in your two wheels like so. Once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down one and two stone brick top slabs back uh, on the very center line. Also, uh, go ahead and go into the front because our uh, front of the uh, trailer is going to be facing this direction. We're going to place down a iron trap door and a uh, skeleton skull just like that uh, for the front there. Now, uh, going back to this stone brick top slab here, we're going to place down a uh, two dark oak wood fence gates uh, on the near side there. We then want to place down a row of three of stone brick top slabs across like so. After you have that done, we're actually going to place down a row of five of stone brick top slabs across on both sides, or on the, all the way across, and not on both sides. Um, then we're going to place down a row of three. Then we're going to go ahead and place down uh, one stone brick top slab in the very center. Again, uh, dark oak with fence gates on the other side of that stone brick top slab. Now, like we did with the uh, deployed version, we're going to place down a skeleton skull over here on this side. 
and then directly across from it on this stone brick top set we're also going to place down one as well so you get something that kind of looks like that from up above going ahead and continuing on we're going to place down uh one and two more stone brick top sabs after this one right here on your third one here we're going to place down a stone brick top seven on your side making another row of three to make another axle for the rear wheels here we're going to go and do the same thing we did in the front here so another brick up down stair one stair off the back of it going over to this side same thing and just like that to pretty much go ahead and make your wheels and everything like that then we're just going to place down again an iron trap door come off the stone brick top sab and then a skeleton skull uh like that dangling down from it or basically coming off the iron trap door like so once you guys have that done it's going to basically do it for layer one here's a bit of an overview from what it looks like from up above very simple uh very easy uh, to start off with and with that we can go ahead and move on to our next layer layer two all right guys so going ahead and moving on to layer two now for layer two what we want to do to start off with is we're going to go and take another brick stairs we're going to place down two stairs back to back on top of the upside down stairs we're going to go and do this all the way around the build um just go ahead and get them built up for right now might as well do it and there we go we got all of our wheels complete like so now coming off of all the stairs on the front here we're going to go and go all the way around and to make the fenders we're going to go and just place down stone brick stairs uh coming off the uh, narrow brick stairs um basically off the front of the stairs so you're going to have basically these fenders that go all the way around so you get something that looks basically just like that. Now we can go ahead and start filling in this inside here and start getting this uh, stuff built up. So on top of this iron trap door here, we're going to place down a polished andesite block followed by a cobblestone wall on either side of that polished andesite block. Behind this polished andesite block, we're going to place down a row of three of polished andesite all the way across. Now up here in the front, we're going to go ahead and place down one and two stone brick top stabs. If you want to have this thing towed, I would probably go about maybe like three or four, uh, something kind of like that uh, for the trailer to connect up to the uh, vehicle. But uh, for having this thing just uh, stationary, we're probably just going to do two stone brick top sabs and uh, a dark oak wood fence gate on the end here. But of course, if you're having this thing towed, I would recommend probably about three or four stone brick half sabs coming off of this polished anti block connecting to the back of the truck. Now, uh, once you have that complete, we want to go ahead and also take some uh, narrow brick fence gates. We're going to go and put down uh, two like this on your side here, again, for just some additional detail. Coming back here to this section, we're going to place down a stone brick stair on top of that stone brick top slab, followed by a uh, skeleton skull uh, coming off those two uh, polished andesite blocks. After you have that done, we're going to place down a stone brick half slab on top of those two um, dark oak with uh, fence gates, just like that. And then we're also going to take skeleton skulls and place them down on the sides here of those stone half slabs. Once you guys have that done, we're going to place down a, a uh, iron trap door in between those those um, stone half slabs, followed by a cobblestone wall in the very center, followed by a polished andesite block with a cobblestone wall on either side of it, and then another cobblestone wall come off this polished andesite block back in this section here. Uh, we then want to go ahead and take our uh, we want to take our stone brick top sabs coming off this first cobblestone wall here. We're going to place down one and two. Stone brick top sabs out to the side. Same thing over here. One and two. Stone brick top sabs out to the side. Just like that. Going ahead and uh, continuing on. We want to go ahead and place down a cobblestone wall also on top of this stone brick top sab on your side here. To kind of represent that the legs uh, were kind of folded up. You can see these uh, outriggers that are right here. That basically the supports for the base of the gun. You can see that they're kind of trying to. I'm trying to show that they're kind of folded up here on the sides like they would be so that's what we're trying to kind of show here with that um, and then coming off this uh, stone there the side of this cobblestone wall here we're going to place down a stone brick top slab just like that and over here on this side we have that all done we're not going to touch that any further now going ahead and continuing on we're going to take our stone brick half slabs we're going to place down one uh, stone brick half slab on top of that stone brick top slab followed by a uh, stone brick stair right here like so we're then going to place down a row three of polished andesite followed by a skeleton skull on either side of this uh, stone brick stair coming off those polished andesite blocks. Uh, for the back here, we're just going to place down a polished andesite block in the center, followed by a cobblestone wall on either side. And we're also going to have a bit of a uh, trailer hitch on the back here as well, so a stone brick uh, half slab, followed by a dark oak wood fence gate like so for the back. And we also want to go ahead and take some dark oak wood fence gates, and we're just going to go and place them down uh, in the same place that we kind of have them up there in the front. Once you guys have that all done, that's going to basically do it for layer two. As you, as you can see, a lot of detail, a lot of crazy stuff going on at this point in time. But trust me, in the end, it's all going to come together and it's going to look really nice. So that's it for uh, layer two. With that, let's move on to layer three. All right, guys. So going ahead and moving on to our next layer, we have layer three. Now for layer three, we're going to start off by taking iron trap doors. We're just going to place down an iron trap door on top of those two uh, nutter brick uh, stairs, just like that for the front here. 
we're going to place down an item frame with a sign going over the item frame and in the item frame itself we're going to place down a red stained glass block like that uh, for basically some brake lights um, i would imagine that this trailer could probably be towed uh, either way really so uh brake lights pretty much on both sides is what i was seeing with pictures we're also going to do the same exact thing back here on this side so we're just going to go and place down our uh, uh basically our, our uh, iron trap doors uh the uh item frames with the red stained glass and, and the signs covering them uh, just like that on the back here as well so something just like that now once you guys have that done in the front up here we're going to place down a stone brick stair here followed by a skeleton skull on either side of it after you have that done we're going to go and place down a cobblestone wall on top of this narrow brick stair like that on both sides and we just want to place down a sign coming off the cobblestone wall on uh, its two sides here so just like that and then in the very center here, we want to grab ourselves a redstone comparator, and we're just going to place down a redstone comparator uh, facing that direction, like so, again, for just some more additional detail. Um, also, another piece we want to go ahead and grab is we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a oak wood slab, and we're just going to place it down on top of this these stone brick stairs right here. Uh, I would imagine some, some kind of ammo boxes or something of that sort is what those were uh, on the vehicle. Now, we're going to go ahead and leave the center section alone for right now. We're going to go ahead and focus on the back here since we already have a lot of the materials we're going to need for it back here. So uh, basically for this, uh, we want to start off with by uh, taking our cobblestone walls, doing the same thing on top of these narrow brick stairs that we did in the front, uh, like this on both sides, and like just like that. We then want to take a oak wood slab and again place it on top of these uh, stone brick stairs like so, and so you get something that looks just like that. Now the one thing that is a little bit different here is we have a seat up here. So we're going to grab ourselves a stone slab for this. We're going to place down a stone slab on top of this polished anti block right here. We're going to place down a sign on either side of the half slab, like so on the both sides there for kind of like the uh, armrest a little bit for the chair. And then we're just going to place down a uh, back to it by placing down a uh, uh, a wooden trap door just like that. And uh, we're also just going to go and take a redstone uh, comparator and place it down like so. And of course, if that uh, trap door does close, go ahead and fix it. So something just like that uh, for both sides there. Now to go ahead and get this whole section detailed up and everything, we're going to go ahead and get started on that. Now, uh, we're going to copy basically the whole, a lot of the gun right there. So, uh, you know, if you built the other gun, you'll be a little bit familiar with what we're doing here. So, we're going to start off by placing down two polished anti blocks on top of those two stone brick top slabs, followed by a stone brick stair in the very middle like that. Uh, once you get that done, we're going to go ahead and go back from this stone brick stair. We're going to place down a uh, polished anti block, followed by a stone brick stair. On your side of the stone brick stair, we're going to place down a um, skeleton skull just like that coming off the side of this polished anti block here we're going to place down a second one like so and then we want to place down an upside down stone brick stair right here on top of that cobblestone wall we're also going to take a redstone repeater place it on top of this stone brick top slab flick it out a few times just like that to create that and over here on this side it's uh, a little bit different uh, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a dropper and we're also going to need a cobble we're also going to need a cobblestone wall so we're going to place down a dropper on top of this cobblestone wall right here like this, followed by a cobblestone wall coming off of it like so. Also on the back here, we're going to grab ourselves some dark oak wood fence gates, also some stone slabs. We're going to place down a stone top, top slab coming off of this stone brick stair here, and we just want to place down some open dark oak wood fence gates coming off of it on either side like so. Once you guys have that done, that's going to basically do it for layer 3, and with that we can go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer 4. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to layer 4. Now for layer 4, what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and go back here, fo focus on the chair real quick, get this thing finished off. So uh, basically for the chair here, we're just going to place down a narrow wooden trap door on top of that one right there, have it um, closed up like so. And we just want to place down this sign coming off the, uh, basically on the front of the um, trap, or on front of the, on front of the trap door like that. So you kind of have to look a little bit of a headrest type deal. So something just like that for the uh, chair. Now, once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and go back and focus on the gun here. So we're going to place down a we're going to place down a stone slab full block like this, followed by a stone brick top slab coming off of it toward the rear. We're going to go and need to grab a stone brick top slab. So one like that going toward the rear here. Uh, we also need to grab ourselves trip bar hooks, and on either side of this stone slab full block, we're going to place down trip bar hooks like so. Going toward the front, we're going to place down a polished anti block like this, followed by a stone brick upside down stair on the uh, the left side of the uh, gun. Then over here on the uh, right side, we actually want to grab ourselves a nether brick uh, half slab. We're going to place down a nether brick half slab like so. Uh, we then want to go and take our polished anti. We're going to place down uh, one, two, and three more. Going
going toward the front, followed by a stone brick half slab. Once you have uh, that all finished, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves cobblestone walls again. Over here on the left side, we're going to place down two cobblestone walls on those uh, two polished downside blocks. And then over here on the right side, we're going to place down a, pol a, uh, sorry, a uh, cobblestone wall like this, followed by a stone brick upside down stair like so to create a little bit of a viewport here for where the gunner would be seated. Uh, we also want to place down an upside down stone brick stair on top of the dropper like that. Followed by a cobblestone wall on top of this one right here to kind of continue that effect of that these legs right here are folded up um, onto the vehicle. Now when you get to this point uh, here over here on the left side we want to go ahead and place down a stone brick stair uh, after this upside down stair. And then come out to the side here we're just going to place down a cobblestone wall on top of that stone brick stair just like that. And once you guys have uh, that all finished the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to grab ourselves some signs. Place down a sign on either side of this polished andesite block. And uh, once you have that done, you're basically done with layer four. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to layers five and six to basically complete the gun and everything like that. So with that, let's move on to our last final layers. All right, guys, so going ahead and move on to our last final layers. Now, uh, for these layers, we're going to go ahead and basically build up the top of the gun and everything like that. It's exactly the same as over there. So, or very similar. I uh, keep forgetting we had those legs there, but we're uh, almost done here. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by taking our cobblestone walls. We're going to place down one and two on top of those two cobblestone walls there and we're also going to place down one and two one on top of the cobblestone wall one on top of that upside down stair like so now in between of these cobblestone walls we're going to place down a stone brick half slab followed by a stone brick stair uh, that has its back facing toward the front on the sides here of the stone brick stair we're going to place down signs like so we then want to take our uh, stone brick slabs we're going to place down one and two stone brick half slabs going out toward the toward the uh, front and we're going to place down signs on the side of these half slabs like so after you have that done, we're going to place down one, two, and three stone brick half sabs uh, going out like that. And those aren't going to have signs on it. That's going to basically do it for the barrel there of the gun. Once you have that done, we're going to place down a stone brick stair after this stone brick half sab like that going toward the rear. We're going to place down a polished andesite block followed by a stone brick upside down stair like so. So you have like a little bit of a gap right there to create the, the uh, gun breach. On top of this stone brick top sab, we're going to place down a uh, iron trap door with a sign coming off of it to the left side. We also want to take a skeleton skull and place it down on either side of this stone brick upside down stair. And over here on the right side, we're also going to place down a trip bar hook coming off the polished down side block. Once you have that done, we're going to place down an upside down stone brick stair on top of this cobblestone wall like that. And then over here on this side, we also want to go ahead and place down a upside down stone brick stair on top of this cobblestone wall like so. Uh, the last thing we want to do is just take a uh, stone brick half slab. We're going to place down a stone brick half slab on top of the stone brick stair. And that's going to basically do it for layer five. Now, the last final layer, layer six, we're going to go ahead and take iron trap doors, place down one, two, and three, uh, one on top of the stone brick half slab, and then one on top of each of those stone brick stairs. And then we're just going to place down a uh, another brick fence post on top of this polished andesite block, like so. Once you guys have that all done, that's going to basically do it for the toad version of the FLAC 36, last FLAC 37. Definitely looks really awesome. I love the way it came out, and hopefully you guys do as well. Uh, it's... Just overall really nice and has a lot of detail and looks great. As I mentioned, it would look best being towed by a half track as that would be most realistic as this gun was really heavy and all that stuff. It would need a you know, very uh, strong uh, vehicle to pull, pull it. So uh, realistically, a half track would be towing this and all that stuff. And I would recommend having the tongue of the trailer about three to four blocks from that polished andesite block. Um, anyways, uh, if you guys do want to use this design, using this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This being taken from a sign of the build, tweet to my channel or this video. If this doesn't print any social media sites, just be sure to get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it uh, continues to keep me inspired to uh, continue on posting and everything like that. So if you guys do want to use this design, I do ask that you guys give me credit. And, uh, you know, as long as you guys do, you can use it for whatever you guys are working on. And, um, yeah, so anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.